Hey guys, Lindsay with The Scrap Room here. Today I've got a short video tutorial for you to show you just how easy it is to design a printable greeting card from scratch using Canva. I'm going to create an A2 size card today, so I'm making my workspace 8.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. I like A2 cards because not only are they a great size for sharing in general, but an A2 card is half of a US letter piece of cardstock. So it's really easy to cut the paper in half to make two blank cards with almost no effort. This card I'm designing today is going to be a thank you card, but you can add any text that you like to your card. I'm going to be using some marigold clip art designs from my mega floral clip art bundle. Um, I love marigolds. They're just so bright and cheery and they're great for so many occasions. So I think that they'll look really nice on a thank you card. Once your blank workspace opens up, we're going to want to add a guideline to that. And to do that, you need to add, um, you need to have your rulers visible. So you can either do that by going up to the settings up top and um, showing the, the rulers and guides, or you can hold shift and press R, and that's going to be the shortcut to bring up the rulers. Once your rulers are showing, use your mouse and click in the left ruler and drag a guideline out to the very center of your workspace. It should be at the four and a quarter inches measurement mark on the top ruler. And this will just create um, just a visual guide that distinguishes the front and the back of the card. Everything on the left of that line is gonna be on the back of your card and everything on the right of that line is gonna show on the cover of your card when you're all done. Okay, now that your A2 card template is ready, it's time to decorate your card and add the text. Go to Uploads in the left menu bar. Uh, this will pull up your Uploads gallery. It's also how you upload new designs. If you're uploading a single design or a handful of images, you can just click the Upload Files button and select all the files that you want to use from your device. You can also click on the three dots drop down menu option to upload entire folders of graphics, uh, which is super handy because if you've got a lot of stuff that you want to upload and you want to keep it all organized in separate files where it's really easy to sort through, um, this is a really great option for that. I'm going to be working with my Marigold's clip art set. Um, it's one of the, the smaller sets that's included included in my mega floral clip art bundle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload the entire file of Marigold designs. A lot of the florals in this massive bundle are ready to go arrangements. So this card will be really easy to create. I'm not going to have to spend forever picking out individual blooms and pieces. Uh, the Marigolds, they're, they kind of come in groups or clusters. Uh, so I'm just going to probably need one for this entire card. It won't take too long to upload all the designs. Um, if you do a whole folder like I did, it'll probably take a couple minutes. Uh, but if you're just doing single designs here and there, it's normally just a few seconds or so per, depending on your, your internet connection. But you can actually start working with the designs before they're fully uploaded. To work with a clip art graphic, all you need to do is click on it to add it to your workspace. And from there, it's almost no effort to resize, move, and crop it as you need. Click and drag it to move it around your workspace. Click and drag the dots on the corners to resize it. And you can crop it easily by clicking and dragging the little lines on the edges. One of the best things about working with graphic designs is it's really forgiving. You can move that design around and try all different ways before you decide on how, like your final design, how you want this card to look. Once you've got all your graphics how you want them, it's time to add the text. Go to the text option in the left menu bar, and that'll pull up the whole text menu where you can choose from all different kinds of fonts and colors, uh, font pairings, things like that. For this one, I just wanted to say thank you. So I'm just going to add a text field and add my text. And then from there, I can go and pick out a different font. I'm going to go with this Brittany font for this project. Um, it's a really easy font to read, but I think it's also really pretty. And I think it really fits the vibe of this thank you card well. All right, short and sweet. I told you this card was easy to make. Uh, when you're all done designing your card, go up to share in the upper right-hand corner, 
and click on download, which will bring up the different file formats you can download it in. I would download this one as a PNG. Uh, you could also download it as a PDF. Just make sure that you flatten the image before you download it. Okay, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a like and follow me for more. Bye!